Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. Now, um, the Lord Jehovah has spoken to me. The mighty God that you see in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 to 7. And uh, Jehovah Mekadishkin, the Lord, our sanctifier, the one that purifies and sanctifies, that uh, you see in the book of Isaiah 1, verse 13. He spoke with me uh, this past night about judgment that is coming to a nation. And again, I've seen the Lord speak with me about judgment that is coming to a nation. And uh, in that dream, the Lord, he brought me to a place. And this nation has a big mountain, a very huge mountain. And I could see that uh, the mountain is so big. And from under, it's so huge. It's a very huge mountain. And from under, you can see that the rock up there curves out, curves out such that when you're under the mountain, you would feel that curved part of the rock can fall on you. Again, let me describe this very carefully. The judgment of the Lord is coming to a nation that has a mountain, a huge mountain, very huge, very, very huge mountain. And this mountain... When it goes all the way up, then the rocks curve out such that they almost act as a canopy. When you're down here, you fear. The Lord took me under there, and I feared that if an earthquake took place, that rock would fall on me because it was more like an umbrella canopy. Not so much umbrella, really, but it curved out, and it was like a little roof uh, over us from down here. Not so much of a roof, but it was curving out towards us dangerously. So this country that the Lord is going to judge, he has sent me to bring judgment, to speak judgment to a country, to bring the judgment of the Lord to a country that has a very big mountain. It's a huge mountain. And this mountain is, is so huge. When it goes up, then it curves a bit outward. So there's a rock that's a bit outward, towards, uh, without support, uh, dangerously. And I knew that if an earthquake happens, it will fall on the residents down here. In fact, I was very impatient in that conversation because I was, I was down there and I feared any shaking, that rock will fall on me. But on that mountain, that mountain has another section. It's like two mountain in, mountains in one. It has a second section still attached to it. The first section is this dark one, dark rock up. But the second section has a crater with lava flowing, where lava flows out. So the second section of that mountain has a crater. It's one big mountain with two sections. One rock from the dark and faces it comes out, a little bit out. And the next part of the mountain peak also up there is a crater that has lava flow and I can see even the way lava flows but also see the ice and the snow up there. So the judgment of the Lord is coming to this country that has that mountain and then uh, at one point people were traveling from another place but it was not easy for them to travel from point A, one city to the, the next so because of the difficulty of the judgment that had come to that country and the Lord takes me to another section where I see wasps. Many wasps, wasps come out and try to bite me. And you all know that when the Lord speaks wasps like that, that is the judgment of the Lord. And so when the Lord showed me all this, and then I spoke the judgment of Jehovah on that land, then this judgment manifested. It came to realization, the judgment of the Lord on that land. And uh, I see, at one point I see the, the police have come from another police division. They're big people. They look to me more like, uh, I don't know that they're black people, but uh, they, they appeared with bulletproof jackets, big people. They came from another police division. They just arrived. They responded to the scene. And that is the distance in between the two cities that the judgment has made uh, impossible. So I see the tremendous judgment of the Lord coming to a country, to a nation. The Lord has asked me to speak in the dream. And when I spoke, that judgment...
judgment to that land. He told me, now you can pass the judgment of the Lord onto this land. And when I heard the voice and spoke the judgment of the Lord unto that land, then things became very serious. The wasps began to bite people. And then uh, I see now the police division responding also, and all these things happening there. So I see a tremendous judgment of the Lord coming. And what I don't understand, which I still need to, to clarify, is I hear now a song. I hear a song being sung, and this song is being sung from heaven. The song is being sung from heaven, and he's saying, Kapernaum, 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 Kapernaum. So I wonder what nation this is. Kapernaum, Kapernaum. And this comes at a time when I just delivered a serious warning in Nakuru that to whom much is given, much moral obligation, much responsibility is required. Again, from the conference in Nakuru, I just spoke very clearly to this nation of Kenya, and I said that when many, many, many cripples walk like this, and when many, many, many blind see like this, where every village is celebrating, and I warn this land that when many HIVs have been healed and hospitals are now exonerating, them, releasing them from the programs, and I said, when many signs and wonders happen, like the man of God command heavens to open and the rain come down instant in a broad, sunny summer day. And when the man of God speak to the Lord to visit and the cloud comes to him in the eyes of all. When the many deaf hear, many meet. And then I gave this warning now, I said, in, in Nakuru, I said, Kapernaum, Kapernaum, thou which art exalted unto heaven shalt be brought down to hell. So I, I, the song Kapena Warm in this dream, so that makes me wonder. But I have given the description of this country. I see a very big mountain, huge mountain. And that mountain, the rock cuts out a little bit on top there. A little bit dangerous as it, as it can fall. It's shaking. And then the side, the side of that mountain is now the big crater. The big mountain with a crater the, the active volcanic site up there. The Lord takes me up there and I see that. He lifts me up and he takes me and I see. And then I see some settlements. I see now settlements there down here. And then uh, all this happening. I, I see the judgment of the Lord coming to that country. And uh, until now, I'm asking the Lord to show me the exact country it is. But this is the description of this country. So the huge mountain. And then I speak judgment, and the judgment of the Lord strikes that land. In their cities, there is a city and another city. The distance between those two cities, the movement between those two cities becomes difficult. I see one police division from another side responding here, bulletproof jackets, big people responding to this judgment because the road is not possible. This kind of country, I have spoken judgment to this nation, that country that has that mountain. And the Lord is asking the nations of the earth to repent and turn away from wickedness and go back to holiness because I have seen the coming of the Messiah, the glorious coming of the Lord. I have seen that they realize and I've seen many people thrown into anguish for missing the event, for failing to enter. I've seen that coming of the Lord. And that's why the Lord is speaking these things. Now, if you go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12, you go to verse 1, then you hear the oracles of the Lord concerning this time. And he says, A time will come, and there shall be a distress as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. And then you see Daniel 12, verse 2 and 3, they talk about the rapture of the church, the taking of the glorious and holy church. So this is the voice of one that is crying out in the wilderness, saying, repent, repent and turn away from sin. Repent and be baptized and observe all righteousness. Keep holiness in your hearts, for the coming of the Messiah is at hand. Shalom. Shalom.